Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. This is uh, a question that actually comes from Texas Lone Star Bullies. Uh, and it's about uh, a lot of people are getting the Embark test and they're getting percentages back. And uh, some of them are sort of amazed at the percentages of um, dogs that they're telling them is, uh, as far as the breeds that they have inside their bullies. And uh, what would make your dog a bully and what would make your dog not. And this is very complicated. But as of right now, there's not a certain percentage. And this is something that we have to understand with the American bully. We have uh, established that the dog is supposed to be an uh, Amstaff pit bull, whether you want to argue that or not. The biggest problem now is that, you know, over these last, let's call it 20 years or whatever, there have been many other breeds mixed in where people have lied and done whatever they want with the breed. So we're at a point right now with the breed where as we really can't go by what breeds are in there. Literally, most of you, if you do your American Bullies, and especially if you've done your American Bullies that don't come from a certain breeder that's uh, done it a long time and controlled the, um, the bloodlines that he was using, you're gonna end up with a lot of dogs, man. You could end up with Rottweilers, you could end up with uh, Bordeaux, you could end up with English, Frenchie, um, Odie, Alapaha. I mean, you name it, it's gonna go on and on and on, American Bulldog. So right now we're at a point where we're sort of gonna to have to ignore those percentages. <laughs> because uh, to go through all these dogs and to do those embark tests and to find out what they're saying the percentages are on certain dogs, and then to try to eliminate those from the gene pool, it would be incredibly hard. Now, as far as your breeding program, if you know that you're trying to avoid certain genetics from certain breeds, it would be great to use the Embark test, but right now we're, we're gonna stick to the uh, standard as far as the look and uh, use a lot of the flaws as far as the look to get rid of certain dogs and certain qualities. And of course, our DNA testing going forward forward excuse me will help us uh, eliminate a lot of the issues but as of right now man it is incredibly difficult and almost impossible when you've had a whole world that uh, of late that's been breeding these dogs and you've had a lot of people who've been willing to do whatever they could to get ahead it should have been something that should have been uh sort of uh nipped at the butt um when we first started doing the breed but now at this point, it's sort of gotten out of hand and we can't rely on those tests anymore. Like I say, far too many dogs with far too many mixes. Yes, we do know what the dog's supposed to be, but we, we really can't go by that right now. We have to level it down to the look of the dog and uh, future DNA testing. So right now it's basically approving, um, approving a look and characteristics and confirmation and health and all that stuff right now. And as we go forward, making sure we have DNA profiles on the dogs that we've approved as we go forward. Um, you know, it, I think, you know, when we when we talk about the American bully, this is something that's gonna have to be written into the history of the American bully because for us to just keep saying that the dog is Pitbull and Amstaff, now it's pretty much a flat out lie. That's what it was supposed to be, but because of the uh, egregious level of no other words that I could say, but cheating and uh, all the other things that have come along with the breed that we cannot rely on what these people have to say and we won't rely on what these people have to say. Um, it's, just an op it's just an opportunity for us to really, really clean up the breed and hopefully get it going in the right direction over the next 10 years. But as you know, um, if your Embark test comes back and it says a bunch of breeds, I mean, don't panic, start using the eyeball test to see if your dog is measuring up to what a true American bully looked like, the tighter skin, great confirmation, does not look like an English bulldog or an Alapaha or any of the other bulldog breeds, but looks like a bully. You know, uh, the, like I say, once again, tighter skin is a big thing. You know, the cheekier look is a big thing. We try to avoid the uh, circular, you know, roundish type of eyes. Those type of things we, we want to avoid and we want to go forward in the right way to make sure that we're doing these things the right way. So uh, with all that being said, you know, we're really hitting the reset button in the American Bully breed. Um, as I've said many times before, 
there are going to be those of us who push forward and try to correct the breed to get it back to being what it was supposed to be and improve on it from there. And then you have people who use the name and they're going to go about mixing dogs. They're going to go about not caring about confirmation and many other things. And the breed will go its own direction. So we have to uh, stick to what we're trying to do and, and do right by the breed and keep on pushing the health the right direction. And uh, hopefully or in due time that we will make a product that will dominate what the uh, what the American Bully is supposed to be and really almost shame those people into getting rid of some of those dogs that we know just aren't right. You know, uh, it, it's complicated. And uh, this is one of the topics that we will be discussing on the radio show. We have to find a way to get better, you know, and uh, it's going to be rough. You know, it's going to be rough, but I do appreciate the fact that uh, you do have breeders out there that are already doing the testing because uh, as we push forward and we wanna do further testing and we wanna to stick to rules, you know, this is gonna be the best way for us to uh, really, really fix all of the things that's been done wrong with the breed and with these registries and everything. We just have to do some work. But until next time, y'all, much love, peace.